Hello everybody, it's me, Justin, here with my good pal John, and we're back here to do episode 3 of Paper Mario. What's going on, John? Oh, uh, John isn't here today, he called out sick. This is other John. Hi, other John. Yeah. I'm like John, except I use my finger to pretend I have a mustache. Cool! Yeah. Alright, so last time, me and, uh, John Classic, uh, defeated the Goomba King and made our way to Toad Town. But you gotta wonder, how is Princess Peach doing? And I guess how Bowser's doing, too. The big lug. It's been a while. I've forgotten every voice I've ever given. I'm pretty sure you... It's fine if you restart it. I'm pretty sure last I remember, you voiced Goombario, and I voiced everyone else. Yep. Mighty King Bowser, I've been looking for you. A report, your evilness. Mario defeated the Goomba King. He's headed for Toad Town now. What? Unbelievable! What was Goomba King thinking? I used the Star Rod to make him a king because he begged me. The Mario whips him so easily? What a wimp! Ugh, Kami Koopa, you are sure that Mario can never defeat us, right? Please, please, your vileness. Try to be calm. Goomba King is small time. I had a feeling he'd fail. It doesn't matter because while you hold the Star Rod, you are definitely invincible. You could beat Mario with one claw tied behind your back. So you mean or I'm invisible? I can't be seen? Oh my god, I'm gonna do everything that I've wanted to do since I couldn't be seen! I voice Bowser here, John. You voice the tiny Goomba with the blue hat. I know, but I think it'd be funny if you thought that she, uh, she said invisible instead of invincible. <laughs> you could beat Mario with one claw tied behind your back. Or shell, if you prefer. Yes, yes, very good! <laughs> By the way, Kami Koopa, those star spirits we captured don't have any way of giving Mario their power, do they? Please, don't worry yourself. Each is held separately, and each is carefully guarded by your hand-picked subjects. Even Mario can't save all seven of the star spirits. Hmm. Who's the closest star spirit to Mario? It's that one at Koopa Bros Fortress, right? If Mario somehow reaches there, can the Koopa Bros defeat him? King Bowser, you mustn't worry! Dude, righteous! Pya! Here come the Koopa Bros! Uh huh, oh yeah, we're the coolest of cool! Are you sure these guys can get the job done? That Goomba King was gigantic and even he couldn't beat Mario. Pshaw, get real, King Bowser, and please ignore the squeaking sounds of chairs. We're still trying to get them alive and evil. They're in the beta phase. Yeah, the Goomba King was huge, but he was a total Wimbola. We're nothing like him. See, what we've got going on this is the power of teamwork. Together, we can put the hurt on Mario in seconds flat! Excellent! That's the spirit! Sell it, Koopa Bros! Show our king that special attack you do so well! Yes, ma'am! Ready, everybody? Let's go! Oh! Oh! So shiny! That... This is... Oh! Of course, the attack is deliberately off-screen, so we don't know what's coming. How'd you like it? King Bowser, how was it? Oh yeah, excellent, really! I'm not easily impressed, either! Mario won't have a chance if you finish him with that attack! We'll take him, King Bowser! By the way, my Koopa Bros, about the captured star spirit I locked up in your fortress, who's guarding him right now? I love how the music just stops. <laughs> uh, nobody, sir. Y you know, we're here, and so... You idiots! Use your heads! Use your heads! Get back to the fortress and guard that star spirit! Oh, shiz! Oh, I guess we're not gonna find out how Peach is doing. Okay, uh, give me a second to remember the controls. That's jump. That's hammer. That's nothing. That's nothing. 
Oh, that okay, that's why. Never mind. We we're good. We're good. Ah, uh, the outskirts of Toad Town. To the east is Toad Town. If we go west, we'll reach my hometown, Gooba Village. I'm pretty sure if we go back, there's nothing there for us yet, so we're just gonna continue onward. Hmm? Sorry, quick button check. I'm pretty sure X and okay. Y did nothing anyway. Okay. Is Aha! Okay, yeah, we have all the buttons we need. <laughs> uh, I sometimes change up the controller layout, so I wanted to make sure Justin had all the things he needed. Right. Okay, this is a sleepy sheep. More on that later. That's not inspectable. Okay. Do, 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 do. <gasps> Wait, there's a spring! I know. I saw it. Spring is in this tree. Jump up there. If you go on the roof, there's a chest here. We abandoned Goombario. Ah, he says the same thing. Skirts. Of Toad Town. And this chest we have. Oi! Ooh! Royce. New badge! New badge! Okay. Okay, I'm gonna. Right. I forgot there's like a delay in the pause. Mm. What's close call? Okay, I'll equip that again later. I, <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna try to get hammer though. Badges! I love. I just love Paper Mario. Does that mean our next level up is probably gonna be on badge power? Mate. Because I don't mind. Yeah, it probably will be. I think. I think we only had. I think we only had one level up. No, yeah, only one level. And that's on badge power. All right, so let's see. Here we are in Toad Town. You guys remember Toad Town? Oh boy. <clears throat> Mario, I'm so glad you're okay. The town is in an uproar. The princess kidnapped again. The very castle uprooted. It's bedlam. I really don't know what we can do about all this. Please, Mario, save her highness. Okay, I'll save her a booty. Now. We could explore Toad Town, but first, this pipe. If y'all remember, this is the pipe that Mario and Luigi came in through to get to Peach's castle. If we go back down, la 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 la. I wish I could go on an adventure with my brother. Oh, I wonder what my brother Mario is doing right now. Eh? Hello? Whoa, Mario! It's good. It's you. Good to see you. It's good that it's you, because it's good to see you. Hello. Hello. And you're all right. After all that castle craziness, I was really worried about you. I ran outside just as the earthquake started, so I managed to escape in a time. What the heck? Mario, why is one of the of Mario? I mean, uh, oh, and who are you? I'm Gumbario. Nice to meet you. I'd shake your hand, but I don't have any. I see. Great. Just great. You're on an exciting adventure with Mario. Talk about unfair. You know, you could join us. See, someone has to look after this house, so I can't leave. Oh. For three more games. Oh, well. Take care of Mario, okay? No, don't I, go I, off and I meant to say evil. two more games. I'm stuck here. I'm stuck in the... Well, that's, no, wait, no, that's not true. You actually get Luigi Explorers around. What did you say? I said don't go off and do anything evil. Well, not in this game, it doesn't. I know. <laughs> All right, just curious. He's Luigi. I don't have to say anything about him, do I? He's your brother. Good luck, Mario. You have to save the, that the princess. Hello, bushes. It's -a me, -a Mario. And I'm going to shake you. I wonder if these pipes signify the fact that maybe Mario's the person who builds all the pipes. Well, maybe. I mean, he's a plumber, so he. Maybe he's the one who installs all the pipes, which is why he goes down. That is an interesting theory. Matt Pat, get on that. What's this? Oh, that's like a checklist thing. Okay. So this. We I just remembered we actually can't do anything about that yet. More on that later. Um but here you can see Yeah, here's the box where letters to Mario go, and it's oh, it's empty. Oh yeah, I get the top bunk. John, you get the bottom bunk. Let me switch our blanket colors, because green is better than red. <laughs> so basically, you would love to play in the Luigi skin. I would love to play a Luigi game. I would almost consider doing a Let's Play of Luigi's Mansion. Maybe that would be the next game, but I, I never beat it. So That, that, that means you get to do it on stage. <laughs> we'll see. In front of all of our thousand, hundredth, million viewers. Which at the time right now is seven. <laughs> Alright, anywho, uh, this is... 
Oh, salutations. You're Mario, are you not? Of course I know who you are. I'm the wise toad, Rusty. Pleasure meeting you. And you can probably tell, I can love books and read all the time. Because I'm so well-read, I know all sorts of interesting facts. Whenever you visit with me, I'll be happy to share all of my knowledge with you. Alright, so... Does each toad have a... So, I wonder, is each toad born with that color? This toad is always very excited about whatever the news he has. He's a little crazy. Even so, it's a good idea to listen to him. He may be a little excitable, but he always has news. I'm not gonna, like, have Goombaro talk to every character because I don't want to torture John like that. Good. Oh no! Doom! Danger! Princess Peach's castle has flown away up into the sky! No castle! Horrors! Only a hole remains! Our beloved castle, where is it? Spread the word! Outrage! So, are toads born with that color, or do you think it's kind of like a hairdo? Can they change the color? I'm not sure. I want to say it's the former, where they're probably just born that way. The castle was taken away and Princess Peach was kidnapped. These are dark days. Everyone in town is suffering, yet my heart cares for nothing but you, my sweet. Aww. That's... Aww. <laughs> oh, I'm a sucker for romance. Oh, gosh. All right. Um... If only you had someone to say hello to. Well, my phone's off right now. Oh, there are baby toads! Oh. I guess, yeah, I guess you are born with it. Yeah. I'm just curious, is your voice tired? Are you so focused on no, like, having the good yeah, moments? Yeah, I, I mean, I read everything out loud. <laughs> just, my heart's still melting from uh, the adorableness of Toad families. Yeah, male Toads do nothing. It's the female Toads that always clean up. And they do the, yeah. Okay, yeah, we know Peach is coming out. Come on, come on, Goombar. Okay, there's a star piece right there. We can't get that star piece for a long time. You can't jump over that, like, chest high wall. Nope. Goddamn invisible walls. I know. They're the worst. Just like, why didn't you just make a wall that was bigger? Oh, I, no, I didn't mean to talk to you. Okay. Oh! Oh, the shop! Okay, so here's the shop. We got some good items here. Hello. Welcome to Shroom Grocery. How can I help you today? To check. Oh, right. They can store items for me. Uh, store one mushroom. Uh, let's see. I would like to purchase a pal block. Yes. I also want this fire flower. And Response of all our money! Good. And what's this? Okay. Yeah. Alright, I'm good. We went from 48 coins to 18. We're good. We're now good. I can't have any food. Now I'm going to starve. Oh my goodness. The great? Oh, the dojo. Right. Can we do that yet? A master is wa wandering the world to purify his body. Oh, I never... I forgot about this. So, I guess... Alright, so it's not open yet. Yeah, it's a block. So, that's cool. So the dojo master's on a journey. That's cool. These are the three toad sisters. And they just love to gossip. Did that always do that? Hold on. This right here. Look at that. Did it always do that? I don't know. That's I, cool. <laughs> probably not. I feel like it's accidentally... You see how, like, the water texture moves? Yeah. It's possible that it's accidentally hooked up to the water texture. Ah. Gotcha. So when the water texture was supposed All to right. move... I have no memory of what we're supposed to do. That's fine. Play it like a game. True. <laughs> hey, Mario. Where is me? Yep. I'm the... Oh, yeah, that's right. We're going to Shooting Star Summit. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Blue Gate. Oops, I forgot. Peach's Castle is gone. Oh. By the way, Peach's yeah. Castle is gone. Like, how is that a side note? <laughs> uh. Oh. They must be evil toads, because nah. they have dark gray. They look like good guys. <laughs> so do I have to just go to... I could have sworn there's something else. Um, okay, let's see. Well, I mean, I guess Shooting Star Summit's where I do need to go first. So, well, first I want to go to the post office. <gasps> Hello. He deserves being talked about. His name is Parakari. Parakari. He's Parakari. He's a paratrooper who works for the post office. He's well known for being the slowest mailman around. A slow mailman? That can't be good. John, I, we agreed that I let you voice this guy, so... 
Greetings. My name is Paracarry. I deliver letters. There you go. Yes, hello. This is the post office. You can read any letters that arrive for you or your other party members. Please drop by now and then to check and see if you receive any mail. Well... Oh, you seem to have some mail. We do. Which have to read. Goombario got mail. From the red and blue Goombas. Here you go. Goombario. You were a lot stronger than you looked. We figured you were just some punk Goomba hanging around with Mario. Anyway, you proved yourself to us. And you showed us that being good is as important as being strong. So, when you come back, do you think maybe we could be friends? Please say yes. Aw. We'll be waiting, red and blue Goomba Bros. We'll keep the letters for you. Come back. Come on by anytime you want to read some more letters. Yeah. Woo! Okay, so now... I could, I, unless I'm thinking of a different point. Merlin is out. I said Merlin is out, so it must be out. It's not out. Oh, I guess we're not... Okay. I'm thinking of a different part of the game. Yeah, we gotta go to Shooting Star Summit first. Uh, that didn't mean anything. You guys didn't hear me. It's not recorded. It is, though. Shit. What? Nothing. Forget it. Alright, so... Peach's Castle used to be here, as you all know. Being this giant crater. I claim this land in the name of Toads! Ah, <laughs> uh, right. Luigi made out along with a few others. Everyone else was taken. Oh, that sucks. Alright, well, that stinks. Alright, so we're gonna go this way. Just like the first Toad told us. And get ready for this awesome music shift. One of my favorite tracks in the game coming up. I'm just gonna wait for it. So, we're gonna go this way, and here we are. Oh, what? I love these plates. Right. Well, I think we're supposed to go this way. Yep. So, here we are. Come back here and get a star piece. And I just come and say this is one of my favorites. I remember this track when I was a kid, and mm -hmm. this was. I would sometimes just stay at Shooting Star Summit, just to look at the scenery, listen to the music. I just wanted to be very, very relaxing. I'm just gonna take my time here. Damn it, I wish I knew some, like, smooth jazz lines. It's okay. Uh, I see a mustache in the distance. Let's go. So, I just want to slow jam the news to this. Here we are at Shooting Star Summit. Let's talk to Eldstar and see what he has to say. <laughs> He's an old star spirit. His name is Eldstar. He reminds me of my grandpa. He's a revered person who lives in Star Haven, way up beyond the sky. Uh, a revered star, I mean. I wonder why he's here. He should be in Star Haven. And why does he look so dim? I can see right through him. This guy's mustache. All right, so anyway, it's time to advance the plot. Here we go. Welcome, Mario. We've been waiting for you. I don't remember the voices I gave the Star Spirits, unfortunately. So. That's fine. Except for one of them. We're the seven Star Spirits. Our job is to grant the wishes of good people from our home in Star Haven, a place high beyond the sky. We're going to tell you something incredibly important. Please, listen carefully. The other day, Bowser and his followers invaded our peaceful Star Haven. They stole our prized treasure, the Star Rod, which we've cared for since the beginning of time. The Star Rod is, po is powerful beyond belief. It can grant any wish. For as long as we can remember, Bowser has been making wishes like, for instance, I'd like to trounce Mario, or I want Princess Peach to like me. Of course, stars ignored such selfish wishes. As a result, his wishes were never granted. 
Bowser, that fiend. When he found out that we were ignoring his wishes, he came and stole the Star Rod so he could grant his own wishes. Is it really bad that I want to watch a scene of Bowser like in front of his bed making wishes to stars? Uh, <laughs> I, I can envision what that would be like, probably. He seems content right now, mainly because he defeated you and captured the princess. Soon enough, though, I fear he will wish for more, and then terrible things will happen. It's the responsibility of the Seven Star Spirits to keep the Star Rod safe and use it properly. We must get the Star Rod back from Bowser and return it to its rightful place. In order to do this, Mario, we need your help! Sadly, right now you are not strong enough to challenge Bowser. He has made himself all-powerful by making wishes with the Star Rod. He is terrible to behold. Once we seven star spirits are reunited in Star Haven, we can give you the power to fight Bowser, even with his newfound strength. With our help, you can prevail. Hey, Mario, we are... Alas, we nearly exhausted our powers to talk to you. Hey, although it looks like we're there beside you, it's only an, in it's only an illusion. We're using all of our strength to communicate with you over a great distance, but even now, our strength is fading. We've been caught and are being held by Bowser's followers in different places throughout the Mushroom Kingdom. Please, Mario, first of all, you must rescue us. In order to take the Star Rod back from Bowser and save Princess Peach, we need your help. Please, Mario, you are our last hope, and we will. Mario, looks like things are a lot more serious than I thought. Do you think the princess is going to be all right? I'm really worried about her. All right, I think here is where we're actually going to find out what's going on with the princess. Remember when I said that we'd find out last time? I lied! This time we're going to find out. Well, next episode we're going to find out. That is indeed true. Next time on Let's Play Paper Mario, we're going to go back to Bowser's castle and actually see what's up with Princess Peach. See you guys then. See ya.